Hey everyone, welcome back. And in this tutorial, we are going to learn how we can start doing email marketing on Shopify. For this tutorial, we are going to learn how to create and how to send out our email campaigns. So if you're just starting out on Shopify and want to do some email marketing, then this is the best tutorial for you as we will be covering the basics of how to do email marketing using the Shopify email app. First things first, we are going to need our Shopify account, so be sure to log it in before we can start. Now click on add apps at the left side. You can see here the different apps that we can choose, but we are going to select the Shopify app store option at the bottom. We are actually going to be searching for a specific app that is developed by Shopify themselves. Okay, what we have here is the app store for Shopify and let me just and let me just type in Shopify email in the search. Now what we can see here are the different applications that we can install. But we are looking for a specific app that should indicate free to install and that it should be developed by Shopify. It is pretty easy to spot, so let me just click on the app. Okay, so here it is. So it indicates developer Shopify. That's what we're looking for. And then it also indicates the free to install. Here at the bottom of the page, we can see the pricing. So it says here, that it is free to install and that the first 10,000 emails per month are free and then we are charged $1 per 1,000 emails thereafter. In the past, it used to be 2,500, the limit before you are charged $1. So as you can see, this really is the perfect app for those small businesses who are just starting with their online stores or those who are just wanting to dive a bit into email marketing. Okay, so now let me install the Shopify email by selecting this button and then we should be taken to this page. Click install app and then wait a while. After this, we should put in the email that we want to be associated with this app. So for this tutorial, let us just select example that myshopify.com and then select install app. You can see here in our Shopify page on the left side that the app is listed here. So you can see here under apps email. So that is an indication that we have successfully installed the app and linked it to our account. You can see here in the middle that we have two options here. First one is the create automation, which we will be discussing in another tutorial. We will be selecting create campaign for this video. What we can see here now are templates for the email campaigns that we can select and build from. These are customized and pre-made depending on the goal of our campaign. So for example, we have here our sale announcement, discount. We even have our product restock here, and then there are many more templates. But for this tutorial, we are going to be selecting a campaign template that focuses on a sale announcement. So we just click on this one, and then we can check the looks and the styling, and then we can click on select. So let us just wait for our template to load. All right, so this is our campaign customization screen. And you can see here at the top that we need to own a paid Shopify account before we can send out email campaigns. Now, before we can customize the contents of our campaign, we first need to fill out the different important informations up here. First thing that we need to fill out are the recipients of our email. So clicking here, we can select the different types of recipients. 
the most basic one is all the subscribers and then we can also select those who haven't purchased yet or we can also select those who have purchased more than once we can also choose to send our email campaigns to those who have not touched their checkout in the last 30 days so we can actually use this feature to remind those people to proceed with their purchase or to make their first purchase or maybe we can send an email to those who have purchased more than once or those who are returning customers the shopify email also automatically filters those emails that have bounced in the past this is a very useful tool because you can actually skip the step where you have to add your own subscriber groups but for this tutorial we're just going to stick around with the default option which is to send the email marketing or the email campaign to all our subscribers all right so next step we will have to choose a subject for our email campaign now we have to make sure that this is very eye-catching because this is the first piece of text that the customers will be receiving let me type in 50 percent store discount next we have to add a preview text so let me type here biggest sale 24 hours only all right so once we have our subject and preview text we can actually customize here our sender email so this is what our subscribers will be seeing but for this one let me stick around with my original email so let me just come back to that page earlier and now we can finally proceed with customizing our own email campaign what you can notice here is that our email campaign is divided into blocks or sections that you can move around for example i am moving around this shop now button we can also duplicate it but for this one we're just going to change the text here we can also do that so let me show you an example let me change it into 50 percent store discount we can also change the formatting of our text as you can see here we can change the font the font color the font size and we can also add a background so by clicking here on the background and then selecting our desired color this should be good and we have just made our first customization of our email campaign it is very easy now what we have here at the top is called a header now we can actually select a logo if so if you have a logo here then it will be replaced because by default it is the store name and then as you can see we also have the different formatting options available for our header now we can add a section right before the footer of our email campaign by selecting this bottom right option and then we can see that we have different options for a section now let me just close this one you can also duplicate one of your sections by hovering your cursor on top of it and then you can see on the right side here this button right here will duplicate your section now to show you how to delete a section let me just create an image section once again select the bottom right button add section and then let me select image and then you can see here the red button clicking it will delete the section so now we have our product section here and then we can link our products into it but you can see here that since this is a trial account we don't have any products yet so i can't add anything now let us upload an image to our campaign by adding a section selecting image clicking on it and then navigating to the right hand side where we can upload our image so let me just finish loading up my image we can also use the free images available on shopify but for this tutorial we are going to be using our own assets all 
all right so there is the image uploaded right now just select done and then we can actually link our products here so if you can see at the right hand side we have our image alt text and then we have our url where we can link our products now because we don't have any products yet we are just going to select all products when the customer clicks on the image when they receive the email they will be linked to our shopify store all right so that is how easy it is to add an image and to link your product on it when making an email campaign now there are times when you might want to undo your changes so the button is available on the upper right part of your screen just click it to undo and the next thing we are going to do is to check the preview of our email marketing by selecting either the desktop or the mobile buttons on the upper right so for example let me select the mobile preview to see how it would appear on mobile devices so as you can see this is how it appears so once we are done with the previews of both the computer and the mobile device version of our marketing campaign it is a good measure to send a test message first so just click on the test message on the top of your screen and then make sure that the email address that is indicated on the provided space is your email address because that is where the test message will be sent but as you may know as i have already stated earlier this account was made for the purpose of tutorials only so it is a free account and therefore i will not be able to send a test message but for those of you who own a paid shopify account once you are done with the test email then you can press on the review button on the upper right and then you can send the email to your subscribers what am I going to do right now is to go to the list of my campaigns so by clicking on the exit button on the upper left and then we can see the list of the campaigns that we have done as you can see we only have one here because this is the only campaign that we have done we can select here the campaign button to sort our campaigns and then we can also check our metrics by clicking on marketing and then selecting campaign so what we can see here are the metrics that are generated by our campaign so if people see your campaign and they buy your products then those metrics are generated and that is it for our tutorial on how to make and send email campaigns on shopify if you have learned a lot be sure to like comment subscribe and also hit that bell button thank you for watching and we'll see you next time